Hi friends, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name's Dahlia and today we're back on my kid core pastel grandma core island and I, I have I have to tell you guys something. I'm I'm really feeling the creative block with this island and to be honest the idea of resetting for the last couple of days has been in the back of my mind which is really sad because I like this island a lot but like the last couple builds were cute but like I'm just not motivated so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna make a build today to hopefully deal with the 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 you know the writer's block but like creative block not writer's block creative block animal crossing block if you will so these are the last two builds i made you guys saw them on the channel and today we're going to make a cute little transition space right there right where i'm standing so i hope that you guys enjoyed today's video if you do don't forget to drop a like subscribe if you're new to the channel hit those post notifications become a member of the channel if you're looking to support the channel and the content further because yes i do now have channel memberships it's fun it's fun you get exclusive emotes and, and fun other perks and all that fun stuff so anyway we're getting started with the build um like i said i'm feeling the 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 block which is really unfortunate like it sucks when you get writer's block via animal crossing i'm gonna say writer's block a lot during this video i can already tell but it sucks when you have creative block and you're just kind of like burnt out on an island i'm not burnt out on animal crossing i'm burnt out on this particular island so um to kind of mix it up i'm even using a new path that i traditionally don't use as actual pathing in this game i've only been really using it under like certain builds and stuff like that um but i'm using this really cute four tile like little design that has like the little flowers and the stones and we're doing like a cute little four tile pathway leading up to the area and it worked out quite nicely because it literally like lined up perfectly to kind of do like a little zigzaggy kind of pattern or like a little like a comma apostrophe not apostrophe this little design you know so i'm putting that down and i felt like this transition space just needed a lot of flowers and trees and i was kind of hoping <laughs> that a more natural build would kind of inspire me to want to decorate more um because i guess the last couple builds have been more structured for me on this island um so in theme with the whole more natural area i'm building up a cliff i'll build up another cliff in a minute we do a little bit of water terraforming in today's build but essentially it's more kind of like a little foresty area vibe just basically like a very cute little transition space which i have done a couple of transition spaces on this island and they're cute what can i do something a little bit different which i think this looks a little different i don't know I don't know it's cute it's cute I'm building up the cliff like I said um, making sure to round out the edges we're gonna be placing some trees and stuff up there too um, and just like this whole island is very natural it's very cottage core in like the natural build of the island and like I said a lot of water terraforming is on this island as well um, and I was actually recently talking on stream about like maps and how my maps traditionally don't look that good but this map actually does look quite cute. It's a, it's the water terraforming. I feel like when you have a lot of water terraforming, just like making up the majority of your map, it just looks really like fancy. I don't know, it's quite cute, it's quite cute. So here's that water terraforming layer I mentioned. It's literally just a continuation from the playground build I did. And now I have like all these weird, like kind of like nook and crannies around the spaces that of have been like decorated but like not decorated it's it's kind of weird it's kind of weird um but i'm just kind of like starting the water i think i'm gonna do a really big lake in the back part of the island because to be honest i'm a little intimidated by how much we have left to decorate on this island and i've already done so many villager homes <laughs> so i'm a little little scared about that but i'm totally not nervous um, we haven't done any of the shops or anything, so I think that'll take up a huge spot. But yeah, we're probably going to be doing like a pond back here or a lake. 
but that's for a different video. So for this one, I wanted to do a very cute little, um, kind of like dinner area surrounded by trees. Um, so I wanted to use like the table with cloth and then put like a giant blanket down on the ground and just have really cute furniture around it and kind of similar to like, I've done builds like this in the past where you kind of like just surround the area with trees and make it very enclosed. So that's the vibe for this area. So in addition to all the trees I'll be placing around the space, there's gonna be a lot of trees placed around these, these tables and chairs. So for the actual like picnic kind of like thing, it's kind of like breakfasty. So I did like, like, like peach jam and bread. So it's kind of like a cute little like breakfast tea kind of situation. It's really cute. Obviously it's very basic, but it's cute and I love the pink and I've done so many areas like this on the island already. So I'm trying to like make it a little bit different each area, you know. Um, so now I'm going around and placing the trees. This is when I started to realize that I wanted there to be a lot of trees surrounding the, the the table that's why I put the table down first with all the decorating typically like I don't have a particular way I decorate which you guys know um, but when it comes to a lot of my builds I typically start with the furniture and add items kind of as we go along um, but I built basically that whole area first and then included the um, trees and everything afterwards. Um, and then I've been meaning to use the topiaries. My brain just keeps forgetting they're an item, but they look really cute. And they add that kind of like more elegant aspect of this island because once again, like we mentioned, this island is versatile with its, with its theme. Onions have layers. Ogres! Have layers. Onions have layers? You get it. We both have layers. <sighs> um, and it kind of adds to the more elegant, vintage-y aspect of Grandma Corp. Oh, you both have layers. Oh. Um, so I'm just planting some trees. Keep in mind, I am planting both hardwood trees and, um, peach trees because I want some of my trees when we do the DA, which is going to be set in... Um, cherry blossom season, I wanted some of my trees to be still green, and if you didn't know, um, fruit trees do not turn pink during cherry blossom season, they do stay green. So I'm just kind of placing them, and what I'll do is just stunt the, the peach tree at like the second biggest date of growth. Um, so this is kind of the vibe that we're left with. Um, I do when I do go around and like plant trees behind the trees to stunt them. And then because I said I wanted this to be very, very, basically I went into this build thinking like if I just plant a lot of trees and bushes, can I get the, the inspiration to decorate this island back? So I grabbed a ton of bushes, as you can see, in all different shapes and sizes, or not sizes, they're all the same size, but all different leaf types and, and everything. And then I just started planting them everywhere. Well, I'm gardening. What do you do? I'm gardening! I wanted this to feel extremely overgrown and lush. I wanted the majority of this build to be filled with trees and shrubs and wheat fields and then some flowers kind of thrown in between because a lot of my builds on this island so far have been flowers. Flowers are so cute and pretty but it can look a little messy sometimes um, if they're not placed correctly so I wanted to do a little bit more deliberate placement of certain like plants this time um, and then once again um, because this is kind of like a small little path I also threw down the destination signpost which is super cute um, it gets moved around a little bit throughout the build but essentially it stays in that area um, and then I moved on to the flowers because even though I said I wasn't using a ton of flowers in this build I still did use quite a bit um, off camera, I also placed down a couple of my tree standees, which do get moved around quite a bit in this build. I wanted to put more around the picnic table, but to be honest, the thing with the tree standees is they take up one and a half tiles, so it is very hard to make them work in certain areas unless they're kind of like standing by themselves 
or they're kind of in the background. So while I would have loved to place them like throughout these trees to kind of give more of a whimsical vibe of like the, the, the natural trees, it was kind of hard to do. So I don't even know if I end up actually even using a tree sandy around the picnic area. I do put one like at the entrance and I think at the back corner. Um, but this kind of, this build kind of ends abruptly and my thought process is I'm probably going to do a third cliff with an incline at the end of the cute little walkway we do. Um, and then probably a lookout with a lake and that's going to kind of be like the back corner. I'm pretty smart. Yeah, I work pretty hard. Because we're already like two thirds of the way through the map at this point. We're not quite at the edge, but there's not like a ton of space at the back. So a lake will take up so much space, which I kind of love the idea of a big lake, which I've never actually done on an island. I've done small lakes. I'm good at what I do. I, I have really good instincts. I have great ideas and I can execute. Um, and lakes that have had like perspective areas and they're cute and everything but I think a giant lake for this island one will take up a lot of space and two will look cute it gives the kind of natural vibe that we're going for um, so after placing down some flowers I'm going around placing some more of my standees um, and then because I use that little frill lace design on the edge of my um, picnic blanket. I'm also placing some wheat fields around the perimeter just to kind of break up the the grass because I can't plant flowers there unfortunately. So I use some wheat fields, also a lot of wheat fields to kind of fill in the space around the trees. Um, and then a couple of more items you'll see me toss down throughout the rest of the build. Um, at this point I'm just kind of like trying to fill in the space. I've essentially done the majority of the build so this ending bit is gonna be kind of me like just kind of finalizing a few extra spots. And then this is when I realized that I'm probably gonna be putting a cliff to, to the left of this area where all the trees are because once again, like I said, this path does abruptly end. Um, unless I have a, a path going around this area and then a path going through this area, it's going to be kind of weird if I don't like do something cliff wise. So I'm probably going to be putting a cliff, like I said. And then to kind of break up the use of the flowers and everything, I put a cute little bird bath in the middle of this area here. Once again, incorporating that really cute tile. I'm actually obsessed with this tile. I think it's insanely cute. It definitely. I don't know, made it more fun to decorate because I wasn't using my traditional garden path that I've been using on this island so much, which I do not get me wrong, I love it. But it was nice to kind of like experiment with something different. Um, and then at this ending point, I'm almost finished with the whole build, but I just needed to finish this little cliff. I realized I wanted to put a cliff tree, so I built one or I placed one as you guys saw. Um, and then at the end, I finished up the water terraforming just a little off camera because it wasn't like too fancy. I'm watching you, Wazowski. And then the last thing I'm doing is placing a couple of wooden fences because I'm back at the point where I'm forgetting to use my fencing. And I love using fencing on this island to kind of like create pathways. And I think this kind of like intermixed with all the other furniture and everything else I'm using kind of like centers the path and makes you walk in a certain area which I love um and it's cute it's cute I really like it and I have to remember to use my 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 fences because I'm really bad at it so that is all we quickly time traveled to early morning I let some of my weeds grow out a little bit and yeah without further ado let's go check out the final build and I hope you all enjoyed
Alright, that is everything for today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Like, let's be honest, this area is so cute and really, really was fun to make, I'm not gonna lie. Did it motivate me to continue to work on this island? Like, did it inspire me? Did it give me the, 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 the inspiration to continue? I would say yes. I'm still kind of like a little bit apprehensive, but to be honest, I really do love the way that this, this turned out and I realize that I have to stop being so hard on myself when it comes to decorating islands. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel, and hit those post notifications, all that fun stuff. And yeah, thank you so much for hanging out with me today. I hope you all have a great rest of your day and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!